I'm Jamie from the Halliburton County Public Library and welcome to another Thursday Maker Break. Today I thought I would show you how to make something that's going to protect your furniture from all of those lovely hot beverages we're going to have to keep drinking until the cold beverage season comes again. Because sadly, it's still quite yucky out there. So um, I thought I would show you all how to make homemade coasters out of some old CDs. So let's head on into the makerspace and I'll show you how it's done. All right, everyone, I just wanted to show you the materials that you're going to need to do this project today. Now, this is a great way to upcycle or recycle some of your old CDs because I know almost everybody has some of these kicking around, whether they're old DVDs you don't use because you now have um, a digital version, whether they're... Um, old CDs from computers they could be anything there's a, there's a lot of these kicking around still and instead of throwing them to, into the landfill they're wonderful to actually use for crafts and such so today we're going to be making some coasters out of these um, so obviously first and foremost you're going to need your CDs you're going to need some felt now you can choose any color you like black white any color that matches your decor but just so you're aware this is the part that goes on the bottom so this is um, not really that relevant in terms of whatever color you use. Um, you're also going to need some Mod Podge and a soft bristled brush. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, this is just what you're going to need for the base to get started and then I will show you a couple of different ways and I will show you what you need as we go along. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to prep the bases of your CDs. Now, this step is always the same no matter what you're going to be using to decorate the tops. But to start with, we're going to do the bottoms. Um, and it's really, really easy. You just want to take your old CD, take a little bit of your Mod Podge here, brush it over the back. And uh, make sure that you put this on the shiny side of the CD, not the coated side here. You want to use the shiny side down because this side, if you're for what we're doing, you want it to be a little bit um, more, well, not so slippery, shall we say. So we're going to be painting on the bottom side of it. And so that's what we've done here. And then you just want to take that CD, turn it over onto your felt and stick it down and you want to do this with as many CDs as you want to make coasters out of alternatively if you can get a hold of this um, this adhesive backed felt this works wonderfully for this as well it just skips the Mod Podge step so you can either go this route or you can use the regular felt and use your Mod Podge so you want to repeat this with all of the CDs that you've got and then you want to wait for that Mod Podge to dry and then I will show you what we'll do next. All right, so now that our CDs have been glued to our felt here, what we want to do is we just want to cut them off. Now you can use a pair of scissors or you can use an X-Acto knife, whatever you have that works the best, but basically you just want to cut around your stuck CD so that it's separate. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so as you can see here now, the base of my CD is felt covered, and that's the top. So you wanna make sure you do this for all of the CDs that you're making coasters out of. And this is essentially going to be ground zero for our decorating. So this is what we're going to do all of our different decorating with. All right, so to make fabric coasters, what you're going to need are your coaster bases, which we've already done. You're going to need some scrap fabric in some crazy patterns. You're going to need your Mod Podge, 
and your soft brush, you're going to need a, this is just um, a sour cream lid. Any type of plastic lid will work for this. Just raid your recycling bin and you're going to need a marker. So that is what we're going to need for the fabric ones. All right, so the first step in order to do our fabric coasters here is we actually want to fill in this little hole that we have in the center of our coaster. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your lid. Um, I'm just going to use another CD that I haven't put the backing on as my space. And I'm just going to trace the circle using a marker. Trace the center part. Just like that. And then we just want to cut that out um, and we will stick it in the center. All right, so we have our little circle here and basically you just wanna put a little dab of hot glue and you wanna push this down inside. So a little dab of hot glue in the center and just fill in the space. Alternatively, if you've used the sticky felt, it should be sticky already, you don't need the hot glue, um, but you just wanna basically fill the space, push it right in the center, just like that, so it fills the gap. All right, so now that we've got the gap filled in, um, to fabric your coaster, it's as easy as, once again, taking your Mod Podge, And you just want to use your soft brush and once again coat the entire top of the CD and you can be quite generous here there we go just like that now we'll leave that for one sec to get a little bit tacky and you just want to take your fabric and sort of decide what you want the top of the coaster to look like. I think I'm going to choose this section right here. And you want to take your coaster and just like we did with the felt, flip it over and stick it down onto the fabric just like that. And then once again, um, I recommend maybe putting a couple of heavy books on this while you wait for it to dry. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put some pressure on this and wait for it to dry. And then when it's dry, we'll cut it out. All right, so here you can see our disc has been glued to the fabric. So basically what I'm going to do now is just cut that out. And there we go. Now you can leave this just like this, no problem. Or if you want to finish this off, you can just take Again, this is totally optional, but if you want to finish this off, you can take some twine or yarn or string, whatever, again, color or theme sort of matches with the fabric that you've put on your coasters, and you can actually just hot glue it all the way around the edge like that just to sort of hide that seam. Again, not that it's too terrible in this case, but whoops, hard for you to see there. There we go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to finish this off by gluing some jute twine all the way around the edge. And there's our first method.
All right, the painting method should be more or less self-explanatory here. You're obviously going to need your CD bases, your coaster bases. You're going to need paint in various and sundry different colors. Acrylic paint works great for this. You're going to need your palette, some paint brushes or some painting tools, and you're going to need a little bit of creativity. So let me just show you what that's all about. Now, this second method, also simple enough, like I said, relatively self-explanatory. I've got my base disc here, um, and now you can fill in the center or not, and depending on what you prefer here, if you're going to paint over it, then that's cool. I think I'm going to leave mine open this time. But basically, it's as simple as it sounds. You just want to take your paint. I'm going to go with a black base and some sunshiny colors here, I think, because it's the middle of winter and we're not seeing enough sunshiny colors. So I am just going to put a couple of coats of flat black on the base here first. You might have to do a few coats because, as you can see, it's a bit streaky to start. So if you want a nice flat base, you might actually have to do a couple of coats. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so our coaster base is dry here. Um, and now what you want to do is basically just paint on it however you like. Um, in my case, I'm going to take a leaf out of my coworker Nicole's book, I think, and I'm going to use dot painting with a few of these tools here. So that's what I'm going to do for this, and we will speed it up and show you what it looks like when it's done. And now once again, I'm just going to let this dry and finish it up. And that is our painted coaster. For our third method here, what we're going to be using um, is obviously once again, our CD bases. You're going to need a hot glue gun. You're going to need some hot glue sticks. You're going to need either some twine, jute twine or yarn or any kind of heavy duty string. And you're going to need your plastic top and a marker. So let's just show you how that works. So for this method, again, you want to fill in your center and I've showed you how to do that. So that's what you want to do to start with. So then you have your base disc here with your center filled in. You want to take your rope, your yarn or your twine, whatever it is you've chosen to use and your hot glue gun here. And you actually just want to start by putting a dab of glue in the very center. And you want to just glue your string right to that dab there. And it shouldn't take long, but you wanna wait for it to dry so it doesn't get all over your fingers, cause it will if you don't. So we'll just wait for that to dry for a minute, for a minute. All right, so now I have my string glued to the center of my disc. And now it's as easy as using your hot glue gun and actually just wrapping the string around itself. And again, when you start, this is gonna be a little bit fiddly, but you just wanna keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until you fill the whole disc. So that's what we're gonna do here, and I will speed it up and we'll look at it when it's all done.
And there we have it. That's method two for our coaster. And the final method here, I am not going to get into in too much detail because we I just did a video on this um, for a photo frame, but you can also decoupage these. Um, and for that, you're going to need um, your decoupage napkins, some Mod Podge, your soft bristle brush, and again, your lid and your marker. So let's just do a quick recap on that and I will meet you back up when I'm done. All right, friends, as you can see here with this disc, once again, I filled in the center, which you should know how to do by now. And with decoupage, you've seen this before, so let's get it done and we'll speed it up for you. And there we go. Now all we have to do, once again, is let it dry. And that, friends, is our decoupage coaster. You can see I just finished it off again with edging it with some jute twine. I also placed this in the center only because you could see the CD circle in the center, um, which could have been avoided if I had a primed the CD first with paint, but I did not. So if you're doing this method, feel free to use that, use that if you like. And that is our fourth and final method for coaster decorating. And there you have it, folks. Four different methods to turn this into this. That's all for me today, folks. Thank you very much for making with me, and I hope you all have a spectacular February. I will see you all again soon. Bye!